of uh, Paris Sorbonne Nouvelle University and of France 24's uh, Armin uh, Georgian. Uh, the second speech uh, by Emmanuel Macron before the UN General Assembly. You'll recall one year ago, he uh, skipped his turn or delayed it so that he could rewrite. This time he came prepared for what Donald Trump had to say. Yes, we can wonder, actually, uh, considering the length of the speech, to what extent he did add a few paragraphs to actually answer uh, the American president. Um, to a large extent, it's really President Woodrow Wilson back at the end of World War I, answering President Trump today, opposing systematically, as you said, uh, universalism to nationalism, opposing individual liberties and the people and the peoples to nations' rights. And, and you may remember how uh, President Trump ended his speech with uh, God blessing the nations of the world. And systematically, Emmanuel Macron opposed the peoples of the world to the nations as national interest, as national influence, as a fragmentation, potential fragmentation of the collective concert of nations, uh, which Emmanuel Macron did use, the phrase concert of nations, the Wilsonian phrase, uh, in his address to the uh, French ambassadors recently. So we really, really we really have like t the two opposite um, historical perspectives in the United States as to what international relations can be uh, ever since the end of the 19th century. With Donald Trump, we're going back to the Republican isolationism that rejected the League of Nations in 1919, when uh, Emmanuel Macron is playing up now the centennial of the 1918 uh, League of Nations dream is... and trying to revive it and reform it with clear sightedness, since he is acknowledging that globalization needs to be be reformed, that multilateralism needs to be reformed, with uh, tomorrow the potential model he's proposing for this, which is the One Planet, uh, the One Planet Summit, the second episode, with a new format for it, with uh, the Elysee Palace uh, throwing the idea uh, to the rest of the world, the Bloomberg Foundation, the World Bank, and the United Nations. This is truly the first time we're having this sort of multilateral uh, um, uh, supranational bodies such as the UN and the World Bank to finance it. A, a country which is not the United States initiating multilateralism for the rest of the world and civil society groups, non-government foundations, non-government organizations playing their part. This is the future. He is trying to suggest reform multilateralism and therefore roll back yeah. this uh, wind of nationalism blowing again uh, across the Western world. New rules for an international order, said the 